With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question, it is given intramolecular aldol condensation. So you have been given a paragraph about intramolecular aldol condensation. That the aldol condensation also offers a convenient way to synthesize molecules with five and six membered rings. This can be done. By an intramolecular aldol condensation using a dihalide, a ketohalide, or a diketone as a substrate. The major product is formed by the attack of the enolate from the ketone side of the molecule that adds to the aldehyde group. The reason being is that the aldeh aldehyde group undergoes addition preferentially may arise from the greater reactivity of aldehyde towards nucleophilic addition. We will understand this that why the reactivity of aldehyde towards nucleophilic ad uh, addition is more. But in this one, basically, five membered rings are more readily uh, favored than seven membered rings, and six membered rings are more favorable than four or eight membered rings. Right? So, let's see first of all what is being said. It has been said that the aldehyde is more reactive towards nucleophilic addition reaction. Now, why it is so? You can see in this the substrate given to us. Here is the aldehyde group and here is the keto group. Now when the aldol condensation takes place, what happens? That the, there is an attack on the carbonyl carbon. Now on which carbonyl carbon among these two carbonyl carbon, which carbonyl carbon should undergo nucleophilic addition reaction? So we say that the aldehyde part goes nucleophilic addition reaction why because here the delta positive or you can see the electrophilic nature of this carbon is high but the electrophilic nature in case of the ketonic carbon you can say is low why because of the presence of this ch3 group which shows plus i effect and hence it decreases the electrophilic nature or electrophilic character of the carbon at the ketone position but you can see very well that the reactivity of aldehyde towards the reactivity of aldehyde towards nucleophilic addition is high because of the absence of any such plus i effect and hence the you can say the electrophilic character the electrophilic character you can write of carbonyl carbon of carbonyl carbon is more in aldehyde than ketone aldehyde than ketone right this is important now let's see the reaction how the reaction is taking place how is the intramolecular attack favored here so you have ch3 you have c double bond o then you have ch2 ch2 then you have again one more ch2 then again one more ch2 and finally you have c double bond o h now right now what happens now what happens here actually that here is the alpha hydrogen so this alpha hydrogen it loses hydro, uh, hydrogen and it forms the negative charge so if this negative charge goes and attack to this carbonyl carbon then how many uh, member ring will be formed you can see very well one two three four and five so you will have the formation of five membered five membered ring right but if you see that this carbon if the hydrogen from this carbon leaves and this alpha hydrogen leaves and you have the negative charge here then if it goes and attack this carbon if it goes and attack this carbonyl carbon always this carbonyl carbon will be under attack because of its highly uh, electrophilic character of aldehyde now how many member ring will be formed you can see very well four five six one two three four five six seven so you can see very well that seven member ring will be formed in the second so we know very well that five membered rings are more stable than the seven membered ring it was given in the question that five membered ring in this reaction five member five member rings far from far more readily than seven membered ring so five membered ring will be formed rather than the seven membered ring means the attack will be which attack will be favored this attack this one this attack will be favored but for having the five membered ring so let's Draw the five member ring here in order to give the intramolecular product. So let's draw the five member ring. So we have drawn. Now let's number it. So if you start numbering it, then you can write like this one, two, three, four, five. Now here, if you see the five member ring, then you can see very well that 
let's say at this position if you have number then let's say this carbon was 1 2 3 4 5 right so let's say at first position you have the oh group right or you can say o minus group or oh group and you can say at the fifth position the fifth position has the attack has taken place so here what you are going to have at the fifth position you are going to have c double bond o ch3 right and right at the fifth position you will have c double bond o ch3 now what will happen now what is going to happen this is the say at sixth position anything else is required no so you have brought, uh, you have written the entire structure so now this compound on elimination if it is el uh, elimination reaction is performed in presence of heat then you know very well that alcohols if they undergo you can see there is a wet group so and alcohols undergo uh, this called elimination reaction then the h2o leaves right oh2 group leaves and finally the double bond that is alkene is formed so how this alkene will be formed you will have two possibilities of alkene because if OH group is attached here, then you can say that the hydrogen from this position and the hydrogen from this position. Here is also hydrogen. So hydrogen from these two positions, from both the positions, the hydrogen can leave. And finally, you can have the double bond either at this position like this C double bond O CH3. Or you can have the another compound like this if the hydrogen from other position is removed so you can have this c double bond o and here you will have ch3 right so here you can see among both these compounds which is major this compound is major and this is minor compound why you can see very well that here in this compound this double bond is stabilized by this resonance with this double bond of oxygen of the carbonyl carbon so it is stabilized by resonance and finally what you are going to say that it is more you can say more stable and that's why this product is more stable than it will be the major product so here because of the resonance stability it is major product and this second one is the minor product right now here you can see in this product you have carbonyl carbon you have carbonyl carbon and what it is it is a ketone group right what it is it is a ketone group now there is also presence of you can see there is presence of keto methyl group right there is presence of keto methyl methyl group keto methyl group is present here you can see very well that with what is keto methyl group if you have keto uh, methyl group adjacent to the keto group then that is keto methyl group so you can see very well that keto methyl group is present now now let's see the first statement given the first statement given is it gives yellow ppt with i2 oh minus so what is very important whether it gives yellow ppt or not let's see right so iodoform test the reagent for iodoform test we know very well that the reagent for iodoform test is i2 and oh minus now what is important for iodoform test to get performed you must have keto methyl group right keto methyl group must be present then only the iodoform reactions are performed now you can see very well that you have you already have the keto methyl group present here in this a compound in major compound you have this keto methyl group so what you can say that it is going to give you it is going to give you the iodoform test right so let's see the reaction of this iodoform test once that the compound how the compound is formed if you have this c double bond o ch3 then the compound which is formed and here you have the double bond and when you treat it with i2 and when you treat it with naoh the major product will be, which is going to get formed is like this here you will have c o o n a and along with it c o o minus because you have taken o h minus otherwise it will be c o o n a and along with it you will have the formation of an iodoform and along with that you will have water and then and then you have n a i now if you want to balance it it will be 5 n a i 6 n a o h and you can say how many iodine is here 5 6 7 8 so 4 i2 now you can see that the reaction is completely balanced with 5 h2 o right so this is the way you will balance the reaction and this is the iodoform test this is the yellow ppt of iodoform is released this yellow ppt right so the first uh, reaction is definitely true that it gives yellow ppt with i2 oh this is true statement now let's see the second one it gives silver mirror with tolerance test definitely 
this is the wrong statement it's false statement we know that aldehydes aldehydes give silver mirror test but ketones ketones with tolens reagent give tolens reagent they give no reaction this is very important ketones with tolens tolens reagent gives no reaction so again this is also not the correct statement then it gives fenning solution test this is also false we know very well that ketones ketones with fenning fenning solution again it gives no reaction no reaction so that is how they do not give the fenning solution test also and even in the last one it does not give yellow pvt with 24 dnp again this is the false statement we know that aldehydes and ketones aldehydes and ketones aldehydes and ketones gave ketone gives 24 dnp test that is very important that the aldehydes and ketones they give 24 24 dnp test so the last statement is also false because it is saying that it does not give yellow pvt with 24 dnp it's false it do give yellow pvt with 24 dnp and what is the reaction then now the reaction of ketones with dnp is like this you have rc double bond o r right like this there are the two uh, uh, means alkyl group attached like here you can see these are the two alkyl group which are attached to this ketone here you can see this ring is the one alkyl group and cst is the other alkyl group so what will be the reaction when 2 alkyl group reacts with 2,4 dnp let's draw the structure of 2,4 dinitrophenyl uh, so this is very important dinitrophenyl hydrazine so here it will be nh right and here there will be nh2 and what you are going to have you are going to have here the double bonds like this and finally you have 2,4 dnp means no2 here and you will have no2 here this is 2,4 dnp and when it reacts it gives the formation of a compound like this the compound which is formed is the compound let's draw the structure of the compound form so here will be the double bond and then here is the double bond so here no2 will be present here no2 will be present and on top of it you will have nh then you have a single bond n then double bond and finally you will have the compound like this finally you have n double bond and then r and r so this is the 2 comma and say the dnp uh, 2 comma 4 dnp product which is formed when ketone reacts right so this is how you can say that aldehydes and ketones give 2 4 dnp test but it's very important to note that here it was given that it does not give yellow pvt this is the false statement right so the only statement which is true the only true statement is option one so we we'll write here that option one is correct right I hope you have understood. Thank you very much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.